Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft on Magic Climb where we're immediately going to take this Ancestral Recall because that's how you do it. I'm going to take this bad boy and pop it right into me old, into me old pool we are. I guess we could take this Fast Bond. Or Black Iona. That's called Blona. <laughs> it's called Blyona? Not nah, Blona. I, I, yum, 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 okay. Yeah. I'm going to take yeah. this Ancestral Recall and call it a day. I'm going to recall it a day is what I'm going to do. Woof. Oh. Oh. What did they take? Good Lord. We got an Ashiok and a, and a Prime Evil Titan. I think it's Ashiok. Old Ashy. It's on color and it wins games. I see my Christmas wish didn't come true. That's so sad. Was that an old was that an old timey police car? I'm gonna take Ashiok here. I also there's also a sneak attack which is worth considering. Old Ashy Larry. I think Ashiok's cool though. That's a cool dude. Ooh, Mole Drifter, big moles? Also an academy. Also an academy, also a necromancy. I think it's definitely one of these three. That's for show. What do you think? Is it just is it academy or is it mole drifter? It's a tough call. Oh, you want me to take something for blue tron value? What about Talarian Academy? That's basically like all the Tron pieces in one. It's pretty good. That's old drifty. <laughs> big moles. We do currently have zero artifacts. It's two picks in. <laughs> oh my god, it's one of these two. I don't know what to take though. The Academy is the more powerful. Card. I think Academy is definitely more powerful card. I think Muldrifter is the uh, more. Uh, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a, yeah, I'm gonna take Academy. And we're gonna go hard in the paint like a Thran Dynamo boy. Or a walk. Or a walk. Er. Er. Three and Dynamo's just better, right? Maybe. I'm a big Hangerback Walker fan. Go Hangerback Walker, keep on rolling, Mississippi River. <laughs> Mississippi River, huh? Not the Mississippi Moon, right? Okay, you do What? <laughs> It's Mississippi Moon. Won't you keep on shining on me? Because the you moon keep is... on shining on me. Okay. Okay. I'll see what I can do. What about the Abyss? And we just go artifact deck. I don't know what you're doing right now. Maybe. I feel like you have a hard time. I feel like you're an alien from another planet, <laughs> and you're still acclimating to our world. So you have a really hard time communicating with other human beings. It's, it's probably accurate. Okay. I'm gonna go with the Abyss. How 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 do you feel about splashing uh splashing a red? It's all right. <laughs> it sure feels like a rerun. I just realized there's more than one rare in these packs. Yes, this is a cube, so there's like rare, 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 and then you get to like uncommon, uncommon, common, 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 common chameleon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What up, filthy casual MTG? Well, I don't think it's Palancron, and that's the only other card in our color. Yeah, return. Return the Rakdos. Do it. Return of the Rakdos. <gasps> Ooh, a Jitte. It's pretty late Jit. That is a late Jitte. We also have a Shriek Maw. What do you think, bro? Jit. I agree with you. Oh, we got a spell Skite. That's from the Japanese. That's from the Japanese. It's from them. We also have a Razaketh, which uh, with Thran Dynamo could actually come out pretty early. That's a turn five Razaketh off Thran Dynamo. If we have triple black. Oh! Oh, Dale Ellington the third. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. So, the thing about the Abyss is it doesn't sacrifice artifact creatures, so we're just going to take a bunch of artifact creatures. Is it Spellskate or Razgeth? 
I like Splash Guy. Okay. Hmm. Terminate's fine if we are splashing red. Yeah. Oh, if we are... Oh, Ophiomancer's... Uh, uh, actually, this Ophiomancer mm. gives us a, a card, a creature to sacrifice every single turn. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I like that better. Plus, we don't always have to play the Abyss, so whatever. Too legit to quit today. Take old Scoozy. I just took it just in case. Yeah, whatever, whatever, man. The last Abyss deck was insane in the inner working of the cell. I don't know what that means. That sounds real scientific, though. I feel like you just went way deep on the science. Hmm. Maze of Myth is fine, actually. Look at all these green and white cards, man. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> wow, Marari's weak? God dang. They're just passing us the Naya deck. Any power, any power, 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 no. There's a Warren Powers. There's a Baleful Strix Aruski. No, that might be better. Snapcaster's also good. Yeah. I think I like Strix better, though. It triggers, it powers this, it wears a Jitte, and it gets around Abyss. I think it's actually very good. And I'll be happy if Snapcaster or Fatal Push or Warren Power Stone come back, so. I think it's Strix. I'm going to take it. All right. Power it is. Sure. Sure. I don't understand, but okay. That's weird. They must open a different mox. That's an artifact. Yeah. This also, I mean, if we want to splash white, that's that's good. I think it's just walking blister here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so far we're still just black, black, or blue, black, 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 blue, black, blue, black. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying right now. What up, Unseen Spectre? Oh, a Dark Slick Shores. And a Vindicate? And Flowers, as Alan Beck would say. I don't know what that means, but... No idea. This is the most unflowery I think he was seen. drunk. I could take the Vindicate, too. It's tempting. I wonder if it's better than Hero's Downfall. Probably. But I mean, Hero's Downfall is going to be easier for us to cast. We just got that Mox Pearl. Right, so we have one Mox Pearl to cast to Vindicate, whereas our entire deck casts Hero's Downfall. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, let's not mispick to death right this time. That's a, that's a, a solid idea. I do like the Resto Angel. I don't think she's good with very much that we have, though. Let's take Downfall. I like Greaves because I feel like we can get some some big fatties and then put the Greaves on them. It's also good with Academy. Oh, yeah. Everything's good with Academy. Uh, we, can also take, we can also take Winter Orb and then uh, this will be our one land we untap and I'll add five mana. Yeah, it's pretty broken. Yeah, I think I like Greaves over Murderous Cut. The combo applications are uh, a, little, a little bit better. If you know what I'm saying. I have no idea. I know. Chrome Mox. Not very exciting. Hypnotic Spectre? I actually like Hypnotic Spectre a lot. Old Hippie Bippy? Yeah, Old Hippie Bippy. I'm just going to take that. Yeah, I'm not a big Chrome Mox fan. Still not a big fan of you. I heard that before, you know? That's what, the Chrome, know? That's what the Chrome Mox say, don't you know? 
Did you call it Hippie Bibby? I may have. Okay. You ever heard that song, Return of the Mox? Oh, I dropped your thing. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, you are. It's just top here. Or it could be Academy Ruins. Top or Academy Ruins? Top. Is it top? It's really good with God, Academy. I really don't want to be that... Is, wait, I mean, it's... It's a one-man artifact. I don't know if it's really good. It's good. Do we just take Inkwell, Inkwell Leviathan here? If we get a tanker, that'll be pretty cool. I mean, we could just cast it, right? We have Teleron Academy, Theron Dynamo, and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take Inkwell Leviathan. Plus it's 7-Eleven, man. Slurpees all day. All day. All day. Return of the Mac. Does it like nobody does. I'm going to take this courtyard. Adds to our white plan. <laughs> Greaves are useless now. Yeah, this thing has shroud is was weird. What, what up, Taunus? I have not decided... What would you say? That's what makes it good. I have not decided on any booster box, but if I did, it's probably going to be an unstable box. I'm going to take this Linvala. Because YOLO. That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. I don't care. None of these, none of these cards are good. You are correct. Mm, take unexpectedly absent. Scarlet Harlot, what's going on? Yeah, Geist is... Oh, let's take Resto, actually. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Winter Orb came back. Oh, Timely Reinforcements. That's your favorite. It's not. I know. But if I say it, maybe it will be. Oh, Mox is great. Mox is wonderful. Okay, no, no Lotuses here, unfortunately. Hostage taker, though. Tezzeret La Seeker. Skull Cramp. I like Hostage Taker. Do you? Yes. Do you? Yes. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Done dead. I like Skull Clamp better. Skull Clamp isn't that good for us. Why do you always say that? I don't think... We have a Ophiomancer. Oh, it's pretty good with that. Do you think that Skull Clamp's only good when it literally kills the creature it, it is put onto? Yeah, pretty much. That's not true, though. What if it was? Well, then we'd have... I'm, I'm taking this. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm done with everything about you. There's a Tinker. That's what we're talking about, baby. <laughs> baby, baby. Baby. Is that better than like Ojitai or Jace? Yes. All we have to tinker into is Leviathan though. So far. Fine, I'll take it and we're gonna get a blight steel. Oh, control magic? Oh my god, two on color signets? Gross. I think it's it's still control yeah, magic. It's definitely the powerful card. This pack is great for us though. Hmm. Sundering Daddy. Creeping Tower Pit, Batter Skull. <laughs> I have never been, I've never been, I would never went to a Heroic Night Games while I was there. What'd you say? Creeping Tower Pit, Bone Shredder, Sundering Titan? Probably Titan since we have Tinker. It's pretty brutal. I good. agree. I really want the Creeping Tower Pit, but I agree with that assessment. And nothing. A whole bunch of nothing. Dark Petition. Yeah. I'll hmm. probably never have Spell Mastery, but what is? Blightsteel. Eh, Blightsteel. Oh, Scarab God seems insane. It's pretty good. That's gas. Oh, yes, please. Scarab God me one more time. Scarab God me one more time. 
Mm. Mm. Was it Adam Kiyonaga? Was it Case Kiyonaga? Because those two were my bros. Them's my boys. That is an insanely late Gaia's Cradle. Yes. It seems like it always goes late, though. It's weird. It's just Sword here. It's not Gurmag Angler. It's the only playable card in the pack, as far as I'm concerned. How was I supposed to know? I'm taking sort of peace. That loneliness is killing me. Oh, that's a dude. We have no efficient red. Yeah. Oh my god. Probably just go for. Go for throats. Pop a bolas. Pop a bolas bless. And you're so greedy. <laughs> I know. It is so real. I know. I want to take strip mine. Yeah. Oh, we did it. I want to take this red out, or this white out, probably, and then we're just going to put the Terminate and the Rakdos Return in here. It's probably better. We have no fixing whatsoever, though. That's nope. real scary. But we have a lot of colorless things, so maybe that doesn't matter. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we could just play the Bolas and don't need to play the Return and the Terminate. Why would I not play those good cards? Oh, Dragonlord Ojitai? Maybe I'm changing my tune again. <laughs> Jeez Louise. And a Reflector Mage? Yeah, we could play that bad boy. All right, fine. Oh, Bone Shredder? He's ready. Bone Shredder is ready. Wow, that's a late Yogmoss will. No one's a storm. I'm gonna take a late line. Oh, Necrotal too? Dang, these are some late sweeter. Late, late sweetums. These are some late sweeters. I hate you so much. I mean, I wouldn't have to do it if you didn't talk like that. I'm gonna take the Abyss out. Yeah, it's kind of meh. I don't think we're in Abyss deck, but I can put the Resto back in. I don't even know if I like Tinker in this deck, but I probably do. We have two pretty big bombs. I think it's pretty good. We have two. I'm going to take Lightning Greaves out. You want Academy to be good, though, right? Maybe just play it like this. How was I supposed to know? Oh, sword. We can probably take out sword, maybe. No. We just play 16 lands. <laughs> so bad. Oh, my God. My lonely bass is killing me. So this is six, seven sources, six, seven sources, three sources, seven, seven, three. Blech. I think that's fine. We also have an ancestral. We have a skull clamp to draw cards. I think that's good. Maybe it's not good. I think it's, I think it's suitable. I think it'll do. You're, you're also basically a two drop. You're not going to go over there? Okay. Okay. <laughs> No oh, man, you're looking for a match. You can't, you can't miss. Stubborn cards. kids. Isn't that Britney Spears? I thought that was a Britney Spears song. It's totally a Britney Spears song. You're a Britney Spears song. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> like that, you know. You know. Yeah, man, totally. You know, you know my girl Britney. It's Britney. We're playing Robbot. Oh, this is a good hand. Keep a Ruski. You know Spellskite can actually wear a sword and attack? I did know that. 
It does not have Defender. It's Brittany Mitch. Oh my god. It's so easy to begin. Oh baby, baby. How was I supposed to know? My name's Michael B. I can also equip Skullclam to a 1-1 one, one Walking Ballista and then in response shoot them and draw no cards. So, that's cool. Nice. Mox. Oh. In response, Flooded Strand. I see. I see what you're doing here. I don't... Well, you took two. Force Spike, maybe? Force Spike during our upkeep? Oh, wow. That's... You know, that's uh, just to show us you have it, I guess. That's weird. Because now you're going to have nine cards. You're going to have to go card play something. Otherwise, you just discard. I'm not a big fan of shooting off Ancestral when... Uh... Okay. Well, that's, that's a thing. How was I supposed to... There's spell scat. I don't have any he doesn't have any hands, so oh, that's a that's an old meme. I'm bad at remembering spell scat's activated ability, so half the time it's wow. Okay. You have a lot of mana. And you got a workshop. That's pretty good. I see. I think that's actually fine. Oh, boy. Sweet deck. Sometimes you just face those first decks and you're like, oh, well, that's cool. I can't really do anything about this. Yeah. A lot. Burr, 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 burr. Well, I'm definitely going to kill this dude during my... Up nope, can't. One shy. That's annoying. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. The annoying part is that Tango Wire uh, is always one less for your opponent because of the trigger. And it's always two less for your opponent because they actually can just tap itself. So where the first time you tap four, the first time they tap essentially two. Well, three. Well, they're tapping the Tango Wire, so they tap two things other than Tango Wire. Oh, yeah, because it goes down. Right. right. So then we have to tap an actual three. Then it's going to go to their turn. They're going to take a counter off, so they're going to have to tap two, and one of which is going to be the Tango Wire. So they're only tapping one real thing. So they always have, like, two less than you do to tap. Oh, I guess we could have equipped that turn. I don't know why we didn't do that. That was pretty bad. What up, Drew? Water sports, that is. Wow. I don't know what's going on right now. We're dying. So it seems. How was I supposed to know? My name is Michael Barbob Lee Boo. I mean, we could actually steal this next turn. Depends on if they start putting soot counters on their things. Man, apparently, uh... Whatever, Drew. Mitch is a lifestyle. Oh, he put the... The soot counter part on first, and then he put this on? The, that seems wrong. You know, he's gonna sacrifice something. That's pretty good. Stack the Tango Walker triggers correctly. Oh, now you gotta get rid of something. Ah. 
What's it gonna be? Grim monolith, I bet. Yep. Typical. What up, blurp? Yeah, opponent's deck is not terrible. Oh my god, what is going on? This is ridiculous. Opponent's playing the old no one has fun deck. This is the old the old no one has fun deck. You're not wrong. How was I supposed to know? I'm just going to take five here. And then we're going to actually play uh, Sword. Oh, we have to sacrifice the thing, don't we? Yep. Well. We can probably just sacrifice the spell sky. Wow, that's rude. Oh, we have to sack both two things. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. Spell clamp and skill sky, I suppose. Oh, that was good. Okay, that was perfect. Probably just the swamp here, actually. Oh, no, I, I did it wrong. I'm stupid. I thought it was only one for this. Oh, that's so stupid. Oh, but then, no, it wouldn't matter anyway, because then we would have had to tap the land anyway because of Skull yeah. Clamp. That's not cool. God, I wanted to play this, equip it, attack, make them discard a card, and then Heroes Downfall their... Or not Heroes Downfall, but untap all my lands and then play something else. But because of this, I think we're just going to make them, un they're going to make them destroy this and then we're just going to kill it. You put a counter on and shoot it. Put a counter on? Oh, no, I was going to Heroes Downfall it. Oh. I want to have a creature in play so I can actually put my sword up. Look at all these triggers. I'm down for another draft after this. Mike doesn't have to work tomorrow. Or at least, if he does, he's just making up hours so he, he can go in later. So I imagine if he's not too much of a Mitch, he'll probably do another one after this. Yeah, I'm down for two. Sometimes you got to get those those two out of your system. The whatever that means. Okay. God, this is just not this is just not fun. Should have put this on first, though. You could have tapped the thing you that you sacrificed. I guess it doesn't matter when you have tangle wire. Oh, sacking the tangle wire. Interesting. Oh my god, you're a maniac, dude. Mm hmm hmm hmm. Is killing me at night. My weapon is. I still believe. I believe. I wish this killed artifacts, I'll be honest with you. No attacks? What? What is going on right now? Come on, Rob. You got this. Why are you in the chat, Rob? That's a little weird. I, uh, I'm not comfortable with that. I mean, it could just be not watching. So he's listening? <laughs> so he's listening to my plans? That's, that's interesting. I mean... I can't stop someone from watching. Like, you can even log out and then just still watch, you know. I can't stop someone, but it never feels good. I 
All right. Well, I can't argue with that, I guess. Just curious. I mean, oh, I don't know. Whatever. That always tilts me, though. I never know. And it's so hard because it's such a hard thing. You can never, you can never police it, right? Nope. Like someone could just be like, oh, sorry, I thought I turned it off. And then still, still be in there and just watching the whole game. It's hard to, it's hard to tell. Oh, that's pretty good with the smokestack. Maybe. Just a little bait. Pentad Prism is also pretty good. Just make the... Uh... Alright, so now we just sack two perms, right? One, two... One, two, three, four. If we have a five mana, we'll have six mana. If we sack two perms, we'll have four mana. You just like the Skull Clan in a land, right? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Hmm. Not sure that does anything. Actually, should have stopped Suck Skull Clan from Pearl. That was stupid. Oh, right, because of the double A? Yep. No, because of this untapping our lands, then we'd have five mana to control magic this guy. Yeah, that was stupid. Can we still do that? No, how can we still do that? We have five mana, right? We have five mana right now. Yeah, we equip sword and attack. Mm -hmm. And then we untap all the lands. Mm -hmm. Control magic. Because control magic would cost five instead of four. We'd have five. <sighs> oh, right. You don't we would not have that. five. Yeah, you don't untap the mocks. Yep. Correct. Forgot about that. Hmm. I mean, alternatively, we can just steal this guy. I just don't know how we keep up with the stupid smokestacks. You maybe you don't. I don't. The thing I hate about Tanglewire and Smokestack is that they were both they're both broken cards that like um the way they're worded means your opponent is always going to get the worst of it. You mean the better of it? No, your opponent gets the worst of it. Like, your opponent gets... sacks two permanents when you sacrifice one. Oh. I don't even know what Undertale is. Like, the turn... Like, like it goes back to his turn... He chooses to stack it in such a way that he can sack two permanents. Then he puts a counter on it, the third counter on it. So it's like... This game is weird, though, because like we sack three things, but... One, two... Okie dokie. Well, that'll do. Where'd you get double... Yeah, oh, the Pentad Prism. You make three guys. Yeah, we're just going to the next game. I don't think we can beat this. Um, Bringing him an orb. <laughs> He's like, his own medicine. I mean, that doesn't... I don't feel like he even does anything. Like, most of his stuff was artifact mana. True. Yeah, I'm wondering if that turn with the with the land was 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 key. Like, if his last card was Elspeth, we might have actually had a very good turn. Make them discard Elspeth. I don't think we have to board anything in. I think we just try it like this. I don't know. This deck's pretty busted. Well, I agree. Stack decks are not fun. Yeah, you don't like Tangle Wires and Smokestacks? Oh my. No, I like to play Magic. <laughs> I'll keep this because it's got my boy in it. It's your boy. If we can draw a Mox next turn, then we got that turn two Ashy. Unexpectedly Absence double white, and we only have three white sources, so... 
not terribly likely that we're ever going to cast that. <sighs> oh, my bad. Can I redirect the three mana to myself? Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, got that ancestral recall, boy. Yeah, send him a message. Got him. Get him. Get him with the with the horror, the horror. It's I'm a I, I'm a I'm a uh, Phyrexian horror. No, oh, that's my phone making a little beep noise. I bet there's a YouTube comment right now. Someone asked if my son was named Bluto. <laughs> pretty good oh boy let's take some more you people had enough give me some more this is a great blocker for uh oh what oh it's not an artifact it's a great blocker for this guy yeah give me my snakey every day Uh, sometimes I get push notifications for YouTube comments, yes. Here comes Elspeth. Right? No. This is tapped, right? You only have three mana. That's a good one. Actually, it's not a great one, because we have snakes for days. And I can redirect the equip, right? <laughs> no, none of these no. things work the way you think they work. Day of Judgment, Celestia Signet, and a, and a thing. A land. Ooh, I like we draw both our Tinker Darts. Yeah, That's well, good. watch, we're going to draw Tinker next turn. Oh, I'm going to like the uh, Exile All Cards from the Hand and Graveyard ability. That's going to be gas. Sometime. Someday. Uh, someday! Oh, Demonic Tutor. That's going to be your turn, unless you want to play a Mishra's... No, oh, that thing's exiled. All right. You people had enough? Give me some more. I wonder if that's... What I, that has to be what you got, right? Can I redirect the, the Demonic Tutor choice to something else? Oh, we hit two creatures. Frost Titan and a Resto. Those, Those are, are pretty good. good. What? So those are good ones. Yeah, and we hit a Sphinx's Rev too, which is also not terrible. Oh no. I'm sad. But I'm sad. I like exiling their hand in graveyard here. Seems decent. Oh, uh, it's pronounced the Dees. Gent. Just Dees. You have to go to their hand in the graveyard and then play an Inkwell Leviathan. Uh, Inkwell costs nine. <laughs> oh, I thought it cost seven. No, it costs seven and then two more. Two more on top of that seven. Huh. Well, you know, one day. What? One day. It's got to be worth it. It does, but the problem is that then they just get an immediate hit with these guys. Which is a little scary. Yeah, that's true. So I almost like Resto here better. Blocks pretty well. Lull me to sleep around midnight. Nice. I will put Resto McMesto into play. Blink my burb. I should have waited to see if we draw land. But I guess it... Yep, that's what I was figuring. <sighs> that's why you don't rush out the land, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, 
Yeah, we could have played that next turn. We can play Dragon Lord Uh it, Or we could have even played Sunrig Titan. Now we don't have either option available to us unless we hit a land. Yeah, that's rough. Alright, that doesn't net you any mana. So I don't think you're going to use that mana to... Uh... So we do get another Ashiok activation. What? Really? Free snakes. I think that was hurting them more than us. So. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's pretty good. Hmm. 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 I wonder if we put Frost Titan into play. Tap yeah, boy. It's your boy. Also, we have Spell Skite, which is super nice. Let's go main. Day of Judgment was exiled, right? Alright, that's pretty good. Oh no, we kill our bird. That's ah, fine. Although if they kill our restoration angel in response, yeah, that's fine. It is what it is. I always do that. I always forget about damage that's been applied already. Uh oh, something big's happening. I'm a little afraid of it. I don't know what's happening. Brood. I don't know if that works. I have no idea if that works or not. I don't know if it does. Probably not. Yep. <sighs> That's pretty bad. I mean, we can Sundering Titan kill Watery Grave Plains. Oh, now we can kill Watery Grave Plains Island. That's pretty good. We still have Frost Titan. Yeah, this is actually... I think we're fine right now. At the moment. Hit me, Frosty, one more time. That's a Frost Titan song. Oh, that does work. Dang it. <laughs> I got excited. Oh, we got the Elspeth. That's pretty good. Does this do enough for us, though? Mm. Hitting both their blue sources is pretty brutal. Right, but does that matter when they have this with this on board? Like, I don't want to be milling 10. I don't think we have a way around that. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I guess you could play... No, Dragon Lord just ties blue, so it doesn't work. Yeah, we just got a bunch of blue stuff right now. This is actually... And the problem is if they have a way to kill this or bounce this, we have to kill two of our own lands. Which is pretty rough. Yeah. I think it's the only real play, though. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Get pain. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get your show on. 
and made all that glitters as gold. Only Ojitai broke the mold. So here's what we're going to do. We can bounce this guy. Put the sword on this guy. Oh, uh, not you, just you two. Tap that dude down. Yep, so we do get a free hit here. They discard a card. Smokestack, main. Uh, island. Plains, Swamp, done. All right. I feel a little bit better about that. Especially because if they attack, we can tap down their wolf. And then just probably kill them, maybe. Oh, Caracas? No legendary, guys. Okay, good. Wow, if that was legendary, I'd cry. Judging by the home, the sound of light, big time. That's a media man, bang, time to pass. The only reason I sang it was because stupid Courtney posted in the chat. Because she's a monster. Nothing but the hole, and that's how I like my chair. Yeah, I guess we're just taking that. Oh, they just killed. Oh, that's actually great. I mean, maybe not, maybe not great, but I don't know how they win. Oh, that's real good. pretty good and whatever they target this snake with we can redirect so cryptic command be pretty rough but I don't think they're going to be playing cryptic command anytime soon Just tap this guy down, I guess. Uh-oh, something's happening. Oh, the resto that we knew about? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just killed this Restoration Angel. Let's see if you want to blink that. Yeah, this wins us the game. Walking Ballista for four, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, what a game. This is what I love about Cube. Like, even if the first game's a blowout, you can still just mize your way back into a win. <laughs> Some miles away. No, I don't know what that is. I have... Oh, you say it again. That's good. Now I understand. Yeah, I figured. That's all it took. Now I get it. I knew you'd come around. Some miles away. None of these cards are any good. Oh, I like Maze of Ith as a way to stop their stupid... Uh... Chord? Yeah, their stupid Chord. What the cut? Nothing. Oh, nothing. It's okay. a land, whatever, bro. Uh, not exactly. Oh, this hand is... Amazing? Real good. Oh my god, this hand is the gassiest thing I've ever seen. And Mike's got some farts, man. <laughs> oh my god. Seems good. Whoo! We can't cast this hippie, but we can have, we can definitely add like four mana next turn. That's not as good. Let's draw some cards. Oh boy. 
I need a black source like yesterday. We have a million equipment. Look at all these equipment we have and no creatures. Some type of way. Meanwhile, Talarian Academy makes four mana. Here comes Lodestone Golem. Oh, why can't I control magic of that? This one. Oh, yes! Why can't I equip you? I have a feeling they're going to go end of turn resto. Oh, what do we get? Lodestone Golem? They're going to go end of turn resto. That'd be pretty good. Well, I mean, it deals three, but then we get to control magic it and equip it with a bunch of stuff, so. I think it's actually mediocre. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's pretty insane. That's really sad because it kills Ashok immediately. Mm. Wait, how does it kill Ashok immediately? Because they can just negative five Ashok. Oh. But what we can do... Just play everything in our hand, I guess. And then they can control magic something, whatever. Big deal. Um, five. All right, if you want a negative one Ashiok, go for it, I guess. I mean, they're 100% mind slavering us right now. Oh, mind slaver is such a ridiculous card. Sure. What do you mean if they're smart enough to jitte us? Oh, Mazabeth is good. I mean, they can definitely kill our own guys. Like, running this into a spirit is pretty obnoxious, but we still get the jitte counters. And they can't kill our lodestone golem with the jitte counters. And we still get to draw two, so. Not terrible, but. Yep, there we go. That's what I figured. Negative one, which is why we stole this guy as soon as we could. Oh, just gonna add. We're gonna control magic on one of our own guys, unfortunately. Oh, it's so sad. What up, Mega Genesis? Yep, control magic, my own guy. Skull clamp on that guy, sure. Just run the Hypnotic Spectre into the two spirits. Okay. All things considered, not terrible. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're going to discard one randomly? Okay, I guess you're going to kill it with the Jitte instead? Okay, Lingering Souls. Or, uh, I think keeping the Sphinx's Rev in hand is significantly better than having two Spirits on board, but... Yeah, that was a little interesting. I agree. Oh, they're going to put the Sword on here and then kill the Lodestone Golem instead. But now the Skull Clamp is on it. Are they going to move the Skull Clamp, too? I don't know what's going on. Oh, what? 
they're gonna they're gonna kill it first and then the sword is not gonna move though I don't know what's going on. All right, sure. Yeah, sword's not going to come off because of that. Eh, seems fine. I got an eighty-four skull clamped sword of feast and famine, jittade. What up, Mega Genesis? Lodestone golem. They don't have white mana, which is good. No, well, I guess they do now. I'll get my Black Lotus. You Tron isn't real Tron. Really? What, man? I'm sitting right here. What are you talking about? Judging by the holes in the satellite picture. Oh, did you comment on the video? All right, hold on, let me find out. Hi, Frank. I'm a push notification from... Okay, oh. <laughs> See, the problem is it gets cut off. So I have to... Then I go to, the, like, my notifications, and it says the same thing, I think. I think it says... Yep, I'm a push notification from Water Sports Drew. All right, I'll take this damage here. Wait, what? I need equipped. Oh, because he just played it and didn't have the mana for oh. it. Oh my god. Okay. They have one mana up right now. And we have a pro black guy? Huh. I keep using Mox Pearl when I should be using mana. I don't understand what's happening right now. I think I think we just won this game right now. Probably. I mean, we get to kill both these guys with the Jitte, so... Seems good. And they discard one of their last two cards. We should get Titan and blow up two of their lands, right? We get what? Titan and blow up two of their lands. I guess we can do that. Seems decent. Oh, uh, it's pronounced Dece. Thank you. Fit. I'm going to sacrifice Mox Pearl. Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. Oh, it's it costs one more, so I guess I'll overpay. The media man begs to differ, judging by the hole in the satellite picture. Oh, let's blow up both of their swamps. Seems good. And I'm not actually going to play the white because I don't need it. I'd rather just play this. And... I'm not going to mess around with these guys. And I'll just kill them now. So they have five mana, but two of it is blue. Oh my goodness Got gracious. Woo, good games, good games. I'm going to give them the good games. All right, sweet. Wow, remember that first game when we were like, well, I can't beat this deck. I mean, that we, was quite the hand. We beat that deck. What hand? Their first their first game hand or our yeah, third game hand? Their first game hand. Our third game hand was insane. This is not as good, but I think this is actually just fine. I'll sneep it. Sneep we definitely it? won through... I'll sneep it. I don't know if this is a sneep. There's a mox right here. I'd rather have an island. We'll get an island. Island's coming up next, boy. It's going to be Tolarian Academy Watch. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. That's fine. I mean, we get to either Hippie or Bone Shredder next turn. I like a Hippie next turn, and then we can Jitte it and play Baleful Strix when we draw that island. Come on, you know what's up, boy. There we go. You know. You know me. Same old G, but I've been low-key. We have Bone Shredder and Necrotal for whatever creature they may play. Whoa! Oh. Hot diggity dog. Brutal. You don't have enough equipment. You need a bone saw. You know, so it's... Bone saws ready. 
Oh, come on, really? What is this perfect days in to steal my Baleful Strix? Come on. Come on. I'm just quite rude. Come on. Wow, that's like the perfect two turns into us drawing another land. Of course. Don't care. Something. Something scary. I mean, they don't have... We never, they know we have a bone. Wow, this game... Even this game is like, well... You just have the perfect answer for every single thing I played or plan to play. I don't know if that's true, Blurp. They do have a Demir Signet. And they played Inquisition of Kozilek, so... Yeah, there's a black creature. Yep, you were just incorrect. <laughs> They're not playing any black creatures anytime soon. Yeah, except for this guy. So he equipped Jit. Gets two counters. Doesn't do anything. Well, draw your three. So go back up to seven. Really? Match two. You're yawning already? Unbelievable. Yeah. Leobold is in this format. Is your name Bluto? Maybe. Look at that is it signet. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Oh, that's it's rude. <sighs> Yep. I wouldn't blame you. Yep. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. It's where all artifacts. Yeah, I'll show them. Hmm. I'm not thrilled with this matchup. God, Hypnotic Spectre gets dazed, and then they play Inquisition to take our stupid Baleful Strix? Come on. We don't have any good sideboard cards, unfortunately. Well, this hand is great. We'll keep this. As long as they don't daze slash Inquisition this guy, I think we're okay. Play a signet. Perfect. I like it still days it, I guess. Oh, that's gross. Oh, F6. Fantastic. And we got a kite sail freebooter. Free booties. I ain't gonna play around this time because they could have haste dudes. I don't know what they have. You love a free booty. That's rude. That is rude. What do they hit? Okay. I won't redirect it. Wow, that was a perfect draw. I wonder if we kite sail Freebooter here. Nah. Why not? To keep Exile in their library. Yeah, we get to look at their hand and take a thing. It's true. Did they miss a land drop? Yeah, they missed a land drop. I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep 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 glancing. Time walk and two lands. Oh, we hit like four. Look at these. Look at these lands. 
Also, Resto and, and, and Necrotal is not terrible. It's not bad. Look at this. We have top and we haven't used top once. That's how we play top. Okay, sure. You got it. Can I target that dude with something? Hmm. Oh, they don't even want to show us their hand. Wow. All right. I guess all we had to do was put Kite Self Rebooter into play. Seems easy enough. Easy game. Dude, Robbot, I didn't think we were actually going to beat your your deck game one. Your game your game one was utterly insane against us. I was like, well, we're not beating this deck because your deck looks ridiculous. So, yeah, good luck to you too, man. Um, I I just get really tilted when I see people in the chat because I have like I don't know who people are on the other side of the screen. So it's hard for me to be like, how do I know you're not watching? Um, but I I didn't get a bad impression from you, so. Appreciate that, and uh, yeah, definitely good games, man. Preach, preach. Do we do we board anything in? <laughs> it's, it's your grandma. Oh boy. Yeah, that game one, I was like, well, this deck is unbeatable. Is Abyss good? I feel like Abyss is just worse against us. Yeah, I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. It's your girl, Grandma. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, boy. That's something right there. I wonder if Strip Mine's good against them because they have so many lands. Probably. All right. Just boarding in is, uh, is another 17,000 card. Oh, no. So close. There's an island. It'd be like... Whatever. This hand is not exciting at all. I'd Come say on. It's we can do mediocre. it. We can do it. That's better, right? Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carries a jit, Michael. That's all that's important. Just a slow hand. Never mind. You're a slow hand. That's what your grandma ma said. You're a slow ham. That's why your girl, your girl grandma ma said. This seems like an easy pick. You just take the Jitte, right? I can't even. I can't imagine us throwing Dynamo. Yeah, Dynamo doesn't even really do anything here. It doesn't do anything, Michael. I don't know how we even kill this creature, to be honest with you. Probably just die in twenty turns. Probably just. Oh, look, we drew another swamp. Great. All right, so this game is over, and unfortunately, we did not win this match. I thought. To Kelly, I thought I thought that's what we were I thought we were talking about you, Grandmama. For he isn't your son. That's true. You're right. It's your he's you're both of our grandmamas. Because we're clearly brothers. Like the Mario brothers? But the Mario. Yeah, I should have been like this when they were picking. Oh, choose now, buddy. I guess they could forget we have Resto in hand. and Yeah, that's never happening. It might happen. You don't know. No. Michael, you don't know. Oh, good. We don't have any artifacts. Thank goodness. Thank I like that you played that before I played Thren Dynamo. Otherwise, you could have really messed this up. Oh, Ancient Grudge in your graveyard. How nice. Isn't that guy's ultimate really good? Yeah, it's whenever you target a spell, uh, you gain control of it. <laughs> Woo! Or it's whenever you target a permanent with a spell, you gain control of it. So That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I guess we're just not playing artifacts anymore. We are currently 1-0 right now. Oh my god, really? Don't daze me, bro. He's gonna daze him. Obviously. <laughs> sure, dude. I don't have the one. Guess we could have waited. 
Till for what? Till next turn? Yeah. So we just we just time walk ourselves. Yeah. Seems good. Yeah, I, I can't see a problem with that. Sure. Take my Thran Dynamo. Get him! Ah, what are you gonna do now? <laughs> look at him! Look at him! Too, they're moving too quick. What if it actually worked like that? What? So what if it actually worked like that? What? What if you worked like that? Oh, that was a good draw. Oh, we can just Heroes Downfall this guy next turn. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready, Michael? No. What up, Front McCrog? I hope you discard more good creatures so I can reanimate them with my gentleman friend. Why don't they ever target me with this? I want to draw two and discard two. We never beat Cuphead. Mike doesn't like playing games that aren't magic. He's always like, let's just play magic, man. That is false. And I'm like, all right, that man, that's weird. That is the falsest thing ever done said on the internet. It's cool, man. You don't have to, you don't have to defend yourself, but... All right, we got done. I really don't want them to ultimate this guy. Is really my, it's my big issue here. Sure. Oh, I want to be able to. I want to reanimate this guy. Uphead is gross. I don't even know what that. What's going on here? Oh, look at these floaters. What'd you do? Did you do something? Everything. You did everything? Everything. What can I get back? Resto blinks him, doesn't do anything. No, I can't do anything here. That doesn't, that literally targets nothing. <laughs> that targets actual nothing. Seems solid. Bone Shredder. Non-artifact, non-black. Well, that doesn't do us any good. I do want this Solemn Simulacrum in the graveyard, though. So we're going to actually attack Dak. Make you block. Oh. Well, that's sad. <laughs> I don't know if I even care now because you can't actually ultimate. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, we can actually yeah, we can actually get back resto if they don't sell it if they don't see it and we can blink this guy to block here. Their their graveyard is just mono lands though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is eleven lands. I can assume they have maybe five left in their deck or in their hand. It might be worth worth boarding out Shredder or Necrotal, one of the other, I think. Um maybe both. Does anyone know if Entreat the Angels is in this format? And they don't have any white. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Temporal Mastery. Is Temporal Mastery in here? I haven't seen it once. It's Bonfire. Bonfire! Oh, wow. Look at that. Would you look at that? Must be nice. And look, it's another artifact creature. What do you know? Sure. Oh, they didn't even attack. This is so ridiculous. It's like they know or something. Brr. 
Burder, dirt, 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 dirt. Yeah, sure, use the ability. Whatever. It don't matter. I make it to scry one? Oh, that's... Oh my god, that's insane! Leave it on top! Wow, that's so good, dude. I guess we just kill... Well, we can actually attack their face, which I think is probably better. Well, they can take our sword if we don't attack it. Well, we have Heroes Downfall. We're just going to kill Dak. Oh, sure. Uh, we're going to go face and Dak. Because they're probably going to block here. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to float one mana, steal a guy, and Heroes Downfall. If they block. That's if they block. Come on, one time. Yeah, I don't. I haven't seen many of the um, the miracles. I think I've only seen bonfire. Are you just gonna let him die? This is very interesting. Everything that's happening right now is very interesting. Very interesting. Well, Dak is dead, so we can actually kill one of these guys and get the. I don't know if we want to. Why not? Just don't seem worth it. Well, they're going to go down to three cards. I'd rather have a Kite Sail Free Widow of my own. So watch what we're going to... Well, I want you to watch what's happening right now. Watching. Kill this guy. Get our jit back. We can wait to the draw step. That's what we're going to do. But we also get to see... We know they put a bunch of junk on top, right? So I'd rather just do it now. So they can't protect? Yeah, so they can't like put, put the good cards in their hand back. Zealous Inferno Time Walk. It's pretty good. Um... Zealous person. Did we just lose here? <laughs> 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then they untap their lands. If they have another red, they can kill us with them for. Wow, we're almost dead here. Oh, I guess we, we take time walk, though. I didn't realize we could take time walk. That's pretty good. Time walk would certainly kill us. Zealous stealing this guy is pretty insane. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Oh, it doesn't untap their Izzet Signet, actually, so we're not dead. Didn't they Cascade after? Cascade after what? What do you mean? Yep. So we know your hand is Inferno and one other card. It's 100% Resto. Oh, God, that's gross. Oh, my God, what? What? That's weird. What? Do you know the sword gives a pro black, right? Yeah. Even if it didn't, they'd want us to block so they get their time walk back. Oh my god, what just happened? I think they just threw away their chance of winning the game. If they hit you with Resto, you will discard and untap your lands because you control the sword? No, whenever equipped cr creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card and you untap all... Oh, so, I mean, we'd discard, but we'd also untap. All right. Is that right? I would assume they get the effect. 
Well, it doesn't matter if they get the effect or not. Like we would we would discard a card, but we'd also untap. That player discards the card, so that player being the one that was that was dealt combat damage. So that'd be us. And you untap all lands you control, you referring to the controller of the card, which is us. So we'd untap, but we'd also discard a card. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, we get to... Oh! Uh, I like a Dragon Lord. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... I don't want either of these, actually. Really? Yeah, it's, it, neither of them do anything. Like, I'm trying to win the game here, man. I'm trying to win the game, Mike. I do like... Wait, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, we should have kept this. No, actually, it wouldn't have mattered. If we kept Academy, I was thinking we could actually do something, but... Um, oh, God, we're one mana shy. We could have... If this was a land, we could have Bone Shredded the Zealous Conscript and then played... Uh, then we could have gotten back the Zealous Conscript. So they're definitely going to block... So we have their time walk, and we know their hand is Inferno Titan. If they block, they just go block, block. How do we win this game? I don't understand. This guy flies, right? Wait, this guy can be targeted by something. Mm. I don't think that does anything, though. I mean, we get to kill this guy, which is kind of cool. We're like one mana shy of everything, though. We can't play Jit and Bone Shredder and equip the Jit. Nope. We do get our Thran Dynamo back, I guess. We can play Shredder and Spectre. Like, if we attack with both of these... They can't cast Inferno Titan as far as we know. And they have one other card that's kind of a blank. Three. We're going to kill this guy and have a blocker. Yeah, we're going to have two blockers up. I think this is safe. Yep, that is fine. All right. We have two cards. You have two cards. You can play Inferno Titan and deal us three, and then we still have two blockers. You can deal us... You can deal these guys three, and we then we take three. I think we're okay. You can also take his Zealous Conscript. Yes, we can definitely untap and take Zealous Conscripts. Again, like if we drew one land last turn, it would have been amazing. Which is why I bought him those two cards. What game is this? Is this game one or... This game three? I think so. Oh, dig through time. That's a goodie. That's a spicy meat ball. He still can't play in front of Titan. One, two, three, four. Yeah, even if he hits a mountain, he still can't. If they hit mountain mocks, they can. But that still doesn't win in the game. Like we said, it just deals three... And then they attack us for six. Or three. And then we go to three. And like during our upkeep, we're also dealing them two from the zombie scry. A zombie zombie scry ability. Yeah, we just put this conscript into play. Oh wait, he yeah, had never mind. I was gonna say that would Oh, that was good actually. That was a nice play. I mean we also get to let this guy die and bring it back. Which is not you nothing. You can't stack it the way to kill him, right? I don't think so. Yeah, you can. You can put this ability on the bottom. The echo on top. The echo resolves, puts a guy in the graveyard. Bring it back. Let's do that then. And then uh, when this triggers, it sees three zombies. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. You're a smart. You're a smart cookie, Michael. Mitchell. Michael Mitchell. Hmm. 
just gonna double block here because this guy's going to the graveyard anyway, and I feel like you're gonna wipe the board with a damnation. But we just get Scarab God back, so that's cool. And you do get your time walk back, which is sad, but <sighs> it is what it is. Never easy. Can't be deluge. No, can't be deluge. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and we can also get a phantasmal image, which is not terrible. All right, or we can just win the match. Sweet. Every time I draft a deck, every time we draft a deck, and I'm just like, I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of iffy. It always ends up being pretty good. Yeah. The ones we think are great, those are the ones that do terrible. Is Michael the guy that would get a haircut every day if he could? Yeah, he does get a haircut every day. I'm oh always like, hey, God. man, did you get a haircut? And he's like, yeah, every day I do. <sighs> <laughs> to be fair, I haven't asked you in like weeks, so. Well, thank you. You're welcome, Mitchell. How humble of you. I don't know if that's humble. It's humble. I don't know if that's humble. It's humble. I don't know if that's humble. Humble. I don't think so. This hand, these hands have been terrible. Yeah. I'm going to go to five, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, we'll keep it. Oh, we're on the play? Oh, that's worse. I thought we were on the draw. Now now it's terrible. What up, K-Ferd? Remember that time we got to the finals and we just lost because we didn't mulligan to four? Magic the Gathering later. I mean... Realistically, if I could afford it, I might get a haircut, like, weekly. I probably would. I mean, if we draw land, land, we can go Spellskite or Greaves into Tinker. Hmm. That ain't it. Mike B, do you get a scalp, do you get your scalp massage and you get a haircut? I do not. Really? Yeah. They throw that in for free, bro. Not where I go. Yeah, that's because you go to the ghetto haircut. Where should I be going? I don't know. Nice salon will treat you right. Wow, this is a lot of mana. Three, four, five, six. Okay, well, that's the end. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need you to be looking at my deck, bro. That was fun and productive. It was neither of those things that you said. Mitchell, new day, new haircut, barbobbly boo. Oh, what up? Baby Cakes is, Baby Cakes is making his presence known. This time. Let's try this again. I accept your offering. I do need a black, though. Oh, they went to six now. How do you like it? Man, I would not mind drawing a Jace, that's for sure. Or opening a Jace. How come we can't get no Jaces? Oh, that's a dude. That's not a dude. That's a Jitte. Whatever. Old man. Jitty. I like the last game they had a Jace the Mind Sculptor. This game they started in Raging Ravine. That's interesting. I mean, they were only able to play the Jace off of a Guild Lotus. So. Wow, look at this. Are you going to play it? Oh, you're just going to abrupt decay. That's cool. You're a cool dude. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Where's our freaking black mana? If we draw black next turn, we can Scarab God. That's pretty cool. Mike, what do you do for work? Shuck clams. Or I, both what? I don't actually shuck clams. Everybody knows that, man. Yeah. What'd they hit? Oh, they hit an Ancient Grudge. Sick. Nice whiff, brah. Hmm. Kill that. I can, but God, do I even care? I don't think I do. Mm. And a lot of times the best barbers have both full sleeves and handlebar mustaches. Oh yeah, there was that there was that shucker, that oyster shucker on that episode of Curb. You're right. That's actually hilarious. Yeah, man, you should be watching Curb, then you can actually see the dude that does your profession. Oh, I see. Well now we're gonna shoot that lady. Oh, man, our own Ophiomancer. We should have Mox Jet. What? We should have Mox Jet. Yeah, you and me both. I'm just going to steal this lady. And then we're going to start skull clamping your your Sanakus.
Give me a snake. Give me a snake. Break me off a piece of that snake. Cat bar. Snake cat bar. <laughs> sounds that's, like a cool place. That sounds like the most disgusting chocolate I've ever heard of. Hey, man, can I have some of your snake cat bar? No, dude. Oh, you're going to kill my dude. That was actually your dude. Whoa. Dudeception. Do I just block here? No. Nah. Oh, fashionable late to the party. Typical biblical. Typical biblical. Why do I'm just gonna kill it now? I'm not even gonna deal the point because I'd rather not have them kill it in response. Hmm. The snake man returneth. They have two cards. We have five, and we have a skull clamp. Break me off a piece of that snake cat bar. Ew, dude. Hey, you guys want to meet up at the snake cat bar later? I'm sorry, Cody Ganks. We had to we had to clamp snack. Don't clamp snack. <laughs> you guys want to be meet me over at the snake cat bar? It's the latest. It's happening. It's real happening bar place. The cats. Oh, that's that's a little scary. Oh, you just made a two-two. I'm less I'm less afraid now. That's what I was literally going to say. Let's draw heroes downfall. We can't even cast it. Okay, a we can if we play this. We can cast the next turn. B we have a skull clamp, Mitchell. What more do you need? There's a swamp right there. Are you happy? I am. Get in the trash can. Whoa, whoa. I'm just going to put this... Um, I'd rather really just top. Yeah, all right. What the heck? I mean, top lets us draw two, but if they have a way to kill her... Uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to play Scarab God next turn anyway and start bringing back all the dead. Bring out your dead! Yeah, Hero's Downfall has been MVP so far. How do you feel about that? Good job. Vindicate's probably good too, but it's a sorcery, so I don't care about all that. Okay, well. Extremely rude. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to get rid of my, my Skull Clampoo. Okay. Damage is already done, buddy. I don't even care. I care. Do you? Nike. <laughs> By the moon and the stars in the sky. Oh, there's an ancestral recall. That's a good one. That uh, is a good one. And I K. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm actually tempted to just play. Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, dang it. We can play Ballista for three and kill two things and then attack, but then they just trade. Bone Shredder does nothing, dude. Yep. So we're going to go Swamp, Bony, Ancestral. Here we go again. Here we go again with old Yawns McGillicuddy. What's the play here? We can also just Walking Ballista for six and kill their Vraska. It leaves them with one card in hand. It's not bad. Like, we know two of the three cards we're drawing with this. Also, we can sh Oh, I like this. Hold on. Let's do this better. Let's attack with one snake. Put Vraska to two so that she can't kill our Ophiomancer. And if you want to trade a snake, it just gets a snake off the board. And we're going to get a free one anyway, so... Oh, no, you don't want to... You oh, all right, cool. Upgrade. That was actually better, because now we can kill everything. Dude, having a good time. Uh, yep. Actually, we can't kill everything. I don't know what I meant by that. We're definitely killing Nebraska, though. That shall not. That shall not stay around. Always yield to that. I don't need to be saying yes to snakes. Like a Mitchell, I was born. 
Like a Mitchell, I was born to walk alone. Ooh, that was a good draw. Polluted Delta. I like that this snake keeps the Raging Marine back. That's pretty scary. Let me tell you something. Next time we can go Scarab God and Special Recall. Seems good. I know. And we can play this con Concealed Courtyard. You can't see it. It's like the John Cena of land. We didn't play land. We played a swamp. It says it right up here. Where is it? Uh, uh, turn eight. Did we not play a land? That doesn't even make sense. I thought we did the math to... What? Why did we not play a land? Because you're bad at this game. I thought we only had five, so I needed the sixth land to play Walking Ballista. What's wrong with me? I could have literally played Ancestral Recall. <laughs> what wins? A giant land elemental that gets bigger with each attack or one snack boy? <laughs> one danger noodle. Oh, God. I thought I was going to hold up Recall, too. Am I right? Unbelievable, man. Bone Shredder is not ready. Bone Shredder is really bad for us, and that has been every single game. Yeah, Bone Shredder is a real narrow card here. All right, now we're going to play this Snack Boy. Walking Ballista with Scarab God is actually pretty insane. Hmm? You can get back a Walking Ballista to make it a 4-4, four -four, and then you can still put counters oh. on it. Ooh. A most. See, player lands first is an accurate though. We actually played our land first the last game, and then we drew a concealed car courtyard with a spell we had in our hand, and then we should have played that instead. So there's a no, there's no don't don't con don't conform to some. Fahenjimba. Don't conform to some fahenjimba. Don't just don't. That was rude. Yep, not a fan Tentry's of that. a fair card. Yeah, don't conform to some fast and hard rule about playing your lands first. Wow, that's unbeatable now. It's really good. I mean, think think if they just get their Oviomancer back. Oh my god. Come on, treachery, dude. Come on, dude. Yep, that ain't gonna do it. That ain't gonna do it. <gasps> That'll do it. Now we got a game, boys. One, two, three, four, one. They can make two dudes, but there's only... Yeah, they can make a Walking Ballista and an Ophiomancer, which is pretty terrifying. Yep. We do get Snacks. We get Snack Boys, though. This is pretty bad. Also, because they become black zombies, it's real scary. Play our land like you do. For better or worse, till snake do us part. God, walking bliss is just shooting our snake every turn. Pretty brutal. And they have a land, so they can put two counters on this and just shoot our Ophiomancer. But then I guess we get it back. I don't know what's going on. Magic is hard. Sure. Put a counter on my walking burlista. Put another counter on my walking burlista. These are songs I like singing. All right, cool. So you're going to kill this, and then we're just going to get it back with Scarab God? Seems good.
Like, none of these creatures die to Bone Shredder or Necrotal. Oh, but Sword of Feast and Famine is a thing. Yeah, it is. Mother of God. Oh my god, that's insane. Please let me tell you about Walking Burlista. One, two, three. This guy. I mean, green, black, 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 right? Mm hmm. Sure. Uh, one, two, three. Play Hypnotic Spectre. And we'll top. Don't care about any of these cards, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five. We messed up again. Now we can't actually Scarab God and bring back a dude this turn. I'm really bad at this. I'm real bad at this Mox Pearl mana situation. And they discard Upheaval. One, two, three, four, five, Scarab God. Yep, that was pretty stupid. Oh, man. I'm just like... I'm trying to play fast because we have like a minute and a half less. And uh, we also have top. And there's a lot of things going on. So, not ideal. But could have also moved the sword. But I also don't know how they beat this sword. <laughs> like, if we just move it over to here. Yep, that was huge. Wow. Wow. I guess that's fine. It certainly buys them some time, but it's really not that scary. I agree with you. They do have a green up, which is sad, because now, like... Sure, now you eat that. Oh my god, that's so frustrating. Yeah, that one turn was huge. Oh, we get, we get Bone Shredder, though. We can Bone Shredder Scavenging Goose and then just bring it back. That's pretty insane. I will take one. Oh, that's great. Yeah, this is good stuff. So we'll draw a spell skite. Um two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna bone shredder. Kill the ooze. One, two, three, four. Bring the ooze back. Pull, do we play land? Oh, we just win. All right, cool. That'll do. <laughs> All right, sweet. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Spell skate does counter ballista, which I was waiting to play so we can just like redirect. What up, Juposhi? How you doing, my dude? Shrimp mine seems good against this deck. Manate. So let's take out one of these Bone Shredders or Necrotals. Probably, I don't know. Well, Necrotal is non-artifact, right? They're both non-artifact, non-black. Oh. Well, the Necrotal just strictly works, right? Well, he's a 2-1 in combat, which is better than a... All right. <laughs> so no, all the things you're saying are just wrong. The point is, like, this guy costs more. He costs one more black. But he's better in combat, especially when you have a Jitte or a Sword, because he triggers for First Strike. Which makes combat very difficult. So you're saying he attack? Oh uh, yeah, but he doesn't. He don't. He doesn't. He don't block. He protect. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. Is timely reinforcements good? Meh. Yeah, I like meh too. We have just such a bad sideboard here. I wonder if the abyss is good here. Meh. I don't think so either. Just run it. Um, mm. 
It's pretty close. It's I think it's close enough. I'm gonna keep it. No gamble, no future. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean. All right, that's not though. That's not the top deck we needed. Definitely not. If we go land Baleful Strix, it's pretty good. We didn't. Well, to be fair, we both have blue black lands, so that's good. Yeah. Oh, they missed a land drop. About that. So did we. Technically, missed two land drops. No, we didn't. Well, this is a. I don't. I don't consider that a missed land drop, though. <laughs> it is. Oh, uh, I don't think so. I'll just do and drop this dude in the, in the bin. Oh, he missed another land drop. Okay, all right. So we're keeping this game fair. Oh my God! Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Well, we're not discarding that. We'll discard Hypnotic Spectre. Oh, they hit a land. Must be nice. Oh, look, it's Snake Man, Snake Man himself. All right, now we have three lands. Now we got Tinker Mana. Oh, Sundering Titan, destroy both your lands. <gasps> If we draw a land, we can go Sundering Titan, destroy both your lands, strip mine your other land. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, but they have a snake out, which is a little scary. Still think that's correct. Yeah? Mm hmm I don't like it if they destroy our if they destroy our guy though, it's so much worse. Oh, that's good. Come on. Inkwell would have been so good to take her into. That's pretty good. So can we go one, two, Baleful Strix? This will make two, three. Yeah, we can do that. Do we do that? What if we had a Mox Pearl? Would that be insane? And Jit can uh, deal with the Death Touch Snakes. Well, not without them blocking, though. Not if we get him with bird. Or sacrificing the bird to, oh. to Tinker. That's how Tinker works. Because I'm not sacrificing Jit. Come on, get out of the way. Let's make sure it's correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's correct. We also get to leave both our swamps, so... They also can't attack with snakes now because if they do, we get the attack back. Oh, interesting. It's like we're playing the same deck. So here's an interesting thing we get to do. Play land. We have one, two, three, four, five, six lands. We can control magic with our snake. Attack with the Jitade Sundering Titan and then kill their Ophiomancer so they never get any more snakes. It's pretty good. I don't like having only the snake, but I think it might be fine. We can also just play Scarab God and start getting back things like uh, Inkwell Leviathan or Baffle Strix or Hypnotic Specter. So. both seems pretty good. Oh, we also have Strip Mine on board and they just got a mountain. Mox Pearl. Swamp. Okay. Hmm. I like the stealing the snake play. Seems good. The what? Stealing the snake play. Is this the one, two, one, two, three, four, five? We have six mana, so we get to equip here, steal their snake, attack, and then they either block or they don't. Ancient Grudge costs two mana. I'm also real tempted to just kill their their land. Yeah, I definitely would kill them. I think we're doing that. I think we're going Scarab God, kill your red. Yeah, that's pretty safe. I mean, this is annoying, but they're still they can only play one land a turn, so they have a lot of nine cards in hand. And even if they kill Sundering Titan, we get rid of two lands, we still have one, two, three, four mana. 
I was like, D you can attack if you'd like. I will block with Sundering Titan. Oh, Ancient Grudge in the Graveyard. Probably want to get rid of that. How? Oh, you can only target creatures? Yeah, it's not like scavenging okay. use. All right. So one, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana right now. We can use four of it to get back a thing. Let's do that and get back like a hippie. And then we get to scry. Seems good. Yeah, I like hippie too because it doesn't get hit by ancient grudge. Oh man, that's in so, so good, dude. It's pretty good. I'll draw. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on you because I have a feeling they are gonna ancient grudge this guy. Not attacking into God. The death we touch. Can kill their forest, which is nice though. If they kill it, kill their forest, their swamp, and all one of our islands. Yeah, but the problem is when it dies, we're going to already kill an island in a swamp, so... Well, we killed their swamp. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh my god, if it dies, they actually we actually killed two of their lands and one of ours. Yeah. We didn't attack because I really don't like the idea of them just blocking with a snake and then losing. I guess yeah, that's I probably like that. fine. But it's a 7-10, and we have a Sword of Feast and Famine in hand, so... Oh, that's just fine. It's really good with Skull Clamp, but... I think you're actually just gonna ancient grudge something right now. It's gotta be Jitte, right? Jitte's insane against you. They're thinking about it. Protector has flying, but it doesn't have haste. Oh my god, Sword of Feast and Famine on Sundering Titan. Whew! We can actually control magic this, and then play. Uh, no, we can't. We can't do both. I don't think. That's a lot of mana. So we one, one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, seven mana. I can put you on the bottom. I don't think we need you. We don't need you anymore. This is disgusting. Okay. Nice. Sword of Feast and Famine against the Mono Black Creatures deck will do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so on YouTube, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Both of those things help me out a ton. And uh, I, then I know what you like. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.